Take what you want, Vince Pareto reportedly told one of his attackers before he died. That's one of the revelations in the declaration filed in Superior Court by Prosecutor Clyde Lemons. The declaration is a summation of the evidence against the five young people arrested for Pareto's murder. 18-year-old Derek Cruz, 19-year-old Cal Jerome Delore, and three minors whom the Attorney General's office decided to charge as adults. 16-year-old Darren Gonzalo Cruz, 16-year-old Zerid Zermain Lizama, and 17-year-old Shane Terlahi, all still teenagers, more than a decade younger than the 31-year-old man they are alleged to have beaten to death with a baseball bat. I did speak to the mother of one of the minors uh, briefly, and uh, apparently as parents, some of them are having a hard time negotiating that relationship with their children. Obviously for some that uh, are having a hard time financially, um, sometimes they don't agree necessarily that their kids are, are selling drugs. Uh, they may not even want to pay attention to that because their kids are buying things that they couldn't buy for them. According to the complaint, 16-year-old Zarid Lizama told investigators he did not intend to kill the victim, but he admitted to striking the victim in the head, body, and knees. 18-year-old Derek Cruz also accused of wielding the bat used to batter Pareto. As 19-year-old Cal Jerome Delore initially stood watch outside, but later alleged to have joined in smashing a glass vase against Pareto's head. A disturbing level of violence from people so young. I make reference to quality of life uh, and, and you know, we, we've found that a lot of uh, uh, juveniles are actually not in school, have, have quit school for one reason or another. Um, we've talked about once this case is uh, done, we would like to get out there with the community, maybe the village mayors, and talk to them about starting up some programs. And, and uh, because it, it's really, um, you know, it, I, was, I was exposed to a lot. Of when police finally arrived on the scene, Pareto was already dead, lying in a pool of blood, his hands, feet, and legs tied, and marijuana scattered throughout the home. The chief said the Drug Enforcement Agency is routinely notified in cases where drugs are found. Definitely um, DEA as well as this local agency will be looking into that matter. Uh, who was all involved with the uh, manufacture and distribution of those items? Because obviously at some point it led to individuals identifying that uh, they could get uh, marijuana from that locale. And I'm not going to say that it's necessarily from uh, the victim himself. Let's focus and concentrate on resolving the murder because this gentleman was a victim of a very terrible crime. But we are, I can tell you that, working towards finding out who planted the marijuana. ATF agents also assisted, and contrary to previous reports, the suspects did not know Pareto, but they did know there was marijuana growing in the area. They did mention that they knew that there was patches of marijuana in that particular area. Um, we're not going to say whether or not they were targeting that particular individual like the chief had mentioned, but it was known that there were there was, uh, patches of marijuana in that area. The suspects left the house with black bags full of marijuana. They took the bat and the victim's cell phone when they fled. It was Delore who, in an apparent show of remorse, reportedly used Pareto's cell phone to call for help by dialing 911, saying Pareto looked beat up and knocked out. Police say they have recovered both the bat and the cell phone, but they declined to say where. Investigators did say, however, that they sought the help of the FBI for technical assistance, possibly to trace the location of the cell phone, though police would not say. There are probably going to be residual arrests based uh, on this case that might even include uh, burglaries, robberies, and uh, thefts, and definitely drug-type drug, drug cases. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.